Ochora, who joined the Uganda Police Force on the 2nd of January 1988, was appointed Inspector General of Police on March 14, 2018, replacing General Kale Kaihura. Ochora's decision to hand over office follows the expiration of his second term on March 4th, amid speculation about his potential reappointment. Reflecting on his 36 years of service, of which six he served as the Inspector General of Police, Ochola appreciated all the stakeholders who enabled him to deliver such an admirable tenure. The numerous achievements spread out in my hand over the court and by the various directorates were made possible working with a wonderful team and dedicated officers across all ranks who gave their best in ensuring that the institution succeeded in fulfilling its constitutional mandate. Speaking to the weekly press conference held at the police headquarters today, the spokesperson of police, Fred Denanga, applauded the outgoing IGP for his exceptional efforts of leading the institution to great achievements and enhancement of efficiency in the execution of its mandate. You all know very well that... Uh... The outgoing IGP was very critical to the great success of the Uganda Police Force in the past six years where he led the police to higher levels of achievement with his talent and managerial skills. His tenure was marked by great improved efficiency in police services and uh, modernization of the force. Ochola extended his gratitude to the Minister of Internal Affairs, which considered his request to bow out and concentrate on his personal life. On the 3rd of January this year, I wrote to the Honorable Minister of Internal Affairs, who is the Chairman of Police Authority, requesting to conclude my tour of duty due to personal and domestic issues that require my personal attention. You are aware of what issues I have now, personal issues. Today, I am delighted to be standing before you, no, not standing, sitting now, <laughs> before you this day to give my stewardship report and hand over leadership of this great institution to the new IGP. Now, since there is no IGP appointed, I will be handing over to a caretaker who is the DIT. Joseph Kabari, UCTV News. <laughs>